Attention workers of Sector 27B. It has come to my attention that I want more money. Therefore, I am pushing up your deadlines. This weekend is hereby canceled. What the hell? He can't do that, can he? Damn it. This is outrageous. In addition, none of you will be getting a bonus this year. Because, again, I want more money. That is all. I'm getting sick and tired of Frank's bullshit. Yeah, yeah that guy's a real butt munch. This sucks. I don't want to work this weekend. Working sucks. I would so quit this job in a heartbeat if I weren't living paycheck to paycheck like 78% of all American workers. Wait a second, guys. We shouldn't have to put up with this, and none of us should have to quit. We're all leftists. Let's get together and show the strength of a united working class. Yeah, let's do it. Let's light Frank's office on fire. I have some Molotov cocktails in my trunk. I'll go get them. Yes, fire rules. Fire, fire. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, calm down, comrades. I was thinking more like, I don't know, a work slowdown or, or a strike or something. Oh my god, yes. Striking is so fun, I'm totally in. Let's show this capitalist pig the power of a united vanguard. Together we shall be unstoppable. Yeah, fire, fire, yeah, fire. <laughs> no, Max Sterner, we're not doing the fire thing. We're gonna go on strike. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> one is not worthy to have what one through weakness lets be taken from him. <laughs> yeah, let's strike. <laughs> Great. Okay, so first we have to make a list of demands. Well, I don't want to work any more weekends. Me neither. But I want better health care. Great idea, Thomas. Yeah, and I want free burritos in the company break room. <laughs> yeah. Burritos are rule. <laughs> no, Max Sterner, we're not gonna ask for free burritos. This is a serious direct action against the capitalist oppressor, not a frivolous wish list. But I like burritos, and freedom is striven after for the love of the eye. I choose the eye. Myself is the beginning, the middle, and the end. And I want free burritos. <laughs> oh, this is why I hate egoists. Max Sterner, you have to think about the collective. You're the only one in this office who loves burritos. We can't put our individual needs ahead of the group. Leftism is rooted in altruism. No, liberty of the people is not my liberty. <laughs> liberty. <laughs> Don't you care about Thomas and Anarchitty, Max Sterner? Thomas needs better health care so he can get his turret repaired, and Anarchitty needs weekends off so she can spend time with her kittens. Why should I care about Anarchitty's kittens? <laughs> Where her kittens get in my way, I consume them to quiet the hunger of my egoism. Yeah. For me, Anarchitty's kittens are nothing but my food, even as I too am fed upon and turned to use by you. We have only one relation to each other, that of usableness, of utility, of use. <laughs> yeah, use. <laughs> what did you say about my kittens? Well, that's a horrible thing to say about someone's kids, Max Sterner. Everything sacred is but a tie. <laughs> a fetter. <laughs> Fetters suck. <laughs> my concern is neither the divine nor the human. Not the true, good, just, free, etc., but solely what is mine. <laughs> yeah. And it is not a general one. <laughs> but it is unique, as I am unique. <laughs> Nothing is more to me than myself. Yeah. Yeah, myself rules. <laughs> God, what a creep. You're so full of yourself, Max Turner. I mean, you sound like Joseph Stalin. Hey, you take that back, Anarchy. Joseph the Stalin, you know, which Stalin was a great man who sacrificed everything for the people. No, he wasn't. He was a tyrannical dictator. We've been over this. Oh, no, please, you two, don't start another argument about Stalin. Stalin did nothing wrong. Stalin was a genocidal maniac. He was that. He was too. The Stalin with which you were infatuated, Thomas, is not a person, but an ideal. A spook. <laughs> yeah, a spook. <laughs> you must eradicate the specter from your mind. <laughs> you say that about everything, Max Sterner. Mutual aid is a spook. Communism is a spook. Capitalism is a spook. I is there anything you actually care about? These concepts matter to me only for what they are worth to me. I respect neither Frank's so-called right of property, nor your right to the sanctuary of your inner nature. Frank's goods, the sensuous as well as the spiritual, are mine. Yeah, the mine. And I dispose of them as proprietor, in the measure of my might. Yeah. What does it mean you could talk shit about Stalin? Stalin was evil. Egoism is evil. Evilness is a spook! Stalin was awesome! Stalin sucks. That's it, I refuse to work with Anarchity. She is a class traitor who won't stop spreading fascist propaganda about the greatest human being in history. And I'm not working with Thomas. He's a Bolshevist authoritarian class traitor who worships a mass murderer. And I don't want to work with you, Super Jump Woman. You persecute with dull mercilessness the individual. You suck. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, I don't want to work with you either, Max Sterner. You're a selfish prick, just like every other egoist. Fine. 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 Wait, wait, you guys. What about our strike? Oh no, not again. Oh, 
little Frank, that's a nice new set of golf clubs you've got there. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I've been making money hand over fist lately. I got my employees working through the weekends left and right. Jolly good show, old sport, but don't you employ a bunch of leftists? Oh yeah, they're all a bunch of class-conscious commies. Well, I must ask, aren't you afraid that they might one day join together and resist the tyranny of your rule? What, you mean like, leftist solidarity? <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Elon. Left his solidarity. What a yes. Come now, Frank. Let's play some golf. After you, good sir. Well, did you enjoy this week's video glue? Well, I guess I don't get it, American. Why were they arguing over a bunch of unimportant nonsense instead of focusing on what was really important? Because they're leftist glue, and that's what we do. We bicker over unimportant bullshit while the world burns all around us. What would happen if leftists ever overcame our differences of opinion over historical figures and philosophical minutiae and started working together to effect change in the real world? I don't know, I guess we'd topple capitalism and build a better world or something like that, but that's literally impossible, Glue. Because leftists are pedantic infighters and our priorities are completely fucked. Oh, that's depressing. Yep. See you next week, kids. Anybody can go into any business. Any legal business, that is. But I still say you can't leave government out of the discussion. Government must at least guarantee the right of private property and freedom of contract in order that... Wyatt, you please, everybody. We're on the air in a few seconds. Good afternoon. This is Ray Bennett, acting as moderator for the Western High School Radio Forum. Our topic today, what is capitalism? We hear capitalism, capitalistic system, on every hand, on the radio, in newspapers, magazines, books, in lectures and daily conversation. But just what is capitalism? To start our forum, we will present a few candid interviews. Recorded remarks of representative citizens of our town who were asked for their opinions about our capitalistic system. Capitalism? Well, why should there be any question about it? Hasn't it given us the highest standard of living in the world? We don't have free enterprise. Just bureaucratic red tape. The government ought to keep its hands off business. Freedom of contract? Don't know about that. We've got the union and seniority. I make a living. I should worry. Where's all this competition we've heard so much about? You call these prices low? Well, perhaps the regular I'm glad I can work for myself. With capitalism, you, you take your choice. It seems that capitalism means different things to different people. 